So this is a third vid, and we're just carrying on with this example. So if I look at this for four strips, my h would be b minus a, so pi by three minus nothing. But this time it's over four strips, so h is pi over 12. And you can see, hopefully you can see, that the error between the area, hang on, Gusties, let me pause. The area between the um, the top of the trapezium and the and the graph is far less, so it's more accurate. Right, so I'm going up, so I'm doing going up in pi by twelve, aren't I? So not pi by twelve, two pi by twelve, which is pi by six, three pi by twelve, which is pi by four, and then four pi by twelve, which is pi by three. So they got they their answers that they've got are one root 6 minus root 2, 2 root 3 over 3, which we had before, uh, root 2 and 2. But like I say, you can use your calculator to do it. So if I just go back into the calculator and go into menu and table, I've got the equation in, I just need to reset it. So my start and end are the same, but this time my step is pi by 12. So shift pi over 12, and it gives me more numbers. So I've got a 1, I've got a 1.0353, be careful with the rounding error. So let me put that in a different colour. Uh, hang on, what colours have disappeared? So that's what, a 1.0353, 1.0353. I'm just going to pause it while I fill in the others. That on. There, so I've just filled it in for those values. Now, what you'll notice is there can be a rounding error. So the, it says 1.0352 that it shows on the second one down, but actually it's 1.0353. Right, so a bit quick look then back at the, the formula. So this is my first, this is my last, and all of these this time are my rest. So in terms of the question, if I use the formula, so the width over 2 is going to be pi by 12 over 2. The first one is 1, the last one is 2, then I've got two lots of 1.0353 plus 1.1547 plus 1.4142, two brackets. I'm going to stick that in my calculator in menu 1. So I'll do menu 1. So I've got a pi by 12 over 2. And then I've got the first one, which is 1, the last one, which is 2, and then two lots of the rest. I'm just going to pause it while I put it in. Right, I'm back with you. So then hopefully, if I've got this right, uh, it gives me about 1.34. So it's, it's going to go off in a second, the screen. So I've got 1.3363, so roughly 1.34. So you can see, originally I had 1.39, now I've got 1.34. So as I'm becoming more accurate, I'm removing that error. So the exact value, if you use your calculator, so the integral from 0 to pi by 3 of 1 over cos x, if you put that in your calculator, is 1.317 roughly. So that, you know, you can see we're getting closer to it and that's the important bit. Right, so it says work out the percentage error. So you can do that as a difference between the numbers divided by what it should be. So like, um, like a 1.38998 minus 1.317 all over 1.317 times by 100. And then a 1.3, what I put, 3363 minus 1.317 over 1.317 multiplied by 100. And in terms of percentage errors, this first one's roughly 5.55%, whereas this one's only 1.45%. So you can see that you've got more accurate. So it says, explain why it's an over or an under. So looking at the graph, now, this one's quite, quite important, but I'm going to run out of time. Ah! 